Hello scientists, copyright free illustrations. I know you guys are looking for these illustrations for your publications. I have a scientific illustration studio and I taught at the University of Amsterdam. This is the most common question I get from everybody who are looking for scientific illustrations. What about the copyright? Well, get sued. I know scientists are very worried to get sued. It's very expensive to get sued. Reputation is everything in the academia. I totally understand this concern. I'm here to show you where you can find copyright free illustrations. This is the website I recommend, BioArt from NIH. They have over 2000 science and medical art visuals. They also have many different categories where you can download the illustrations that are relevant to your research. That's scroll down and go to FAQs. We can have a look at what are the usage restrictions for NIH BioArt source images. The illustrations and content provided on NIH BioArt source are free for any use, including educational, research, informational, and commercial purposes. If the entry is licensed as public domain, citation is appreciated but not required. For licenses that require attribution, for example, CCBY, that means Creative Commons License, we recommend using the entry DOI as well as the NIH BioArt source citation style. We need to debunk the word copyright free. Some of the contents are in the public domain. These contents are free for any use. They're contents which are under the Creative Commons license. That means the copyright owner has granted you the permission to use the content according to some rules. Usually it's a, for license that require attribution. These licenses are still free, but you do need to attribute the source of the content. Let's check out this syringe. Oh, when we click into the illustration, detail page and we click into the illustration page you can see licensing public domain that means you don't need to attribute the author when you use this illustration if you really want to you can use the citation down here to attribute the source but it is not necessary you can just very happily download all the files by clicking by checking the boxes here and click download and once you download them you can find them in your download destination as a zip file extract all and if you have inkscape you can open the scalable vector graphic i have a video showing you the steps of opening the svg file and in Inkscape, you can edit illustrations to suit your research publication. Or you can just use the PNG file, drag and drop it right into a PowerPoint slide. Now let's look at another example where you need to attribute the author. We filter the license with CCBY. It's illustrations, you need to attribute the author. For example, let's check out this brachial submucosal gland. And you'll see in the licensing tag, you have a CCBY tag. You can click into it, then you go to the CCBY 4.0 international page. CC stands for Creative Commons. On the page, you'll be able to find what you are allowed to do. And you should follow the following terms. And for this license, you must give appropriate credit to the author. You can find the appropriate credit down here in the site this entry you can put this in the reference session of your paper this is how you find the so-called copyright free images for your research publication actually not copyright free but they are in the public domain or under creative common license if you have further questions you can let me know in the comments or book a consultation with me i hope this video has helped your research if so please give me a like and subscribe to the channel or share the video to the people who need to know this information. I'll be making more videos on my channel, so I'll see you in the next video.